game time. Hey everybody, welcome back to NTW. My name is Rob. Yes, it is game time. And we are back here on 7 Days Die. This is Alpha 18.4 Build 3. And as promised, this is the 4x4. So we got that debuted. Look how good that looks. And the storage in this thing is ridiculous. So much storage. It is a bit of a gas hog. But I like it. It's not... It's a little bit of a gas hog. It's not... It's not faster than the motorcycle. I don't know if it's necessarily slower, but it's not faster. And if it is slower, it ain't by much. So, uh, yeah. So we it takes 10,000 units of gas to fill up. So I put 4,000 units in, and we are at 40%. So, yeah, that's how math works. Um, so, yeah, we are post-Horde Knight, and uh, I have not done any repairs yet. I don't feel like I need to either. So there's that. Uh, we need to go over our stats real quick. So we are now level 46. Game stage 97. Enemy kills 1,543. And a quick bit of math tells me we did we killed just under 300 zombies on Horde Night. We did not. We do not have traps, so we didn't lose any to traps. All those kills were ours. So just under 300 kills, and of course we are still at zero deaths. So that's that. Um, so this base smoked the horde. There, there was, there's just no question on that. There, there was that base smoked it. Once it worked as intended, I had zero issues. So the best thing or the next thing I may want to do to this base to help it out is maybe put up a shotgun turret right here and aim it at the door and have it controlled by a switch inside uh, this way if zombies get on that door <laughs> just blast them and then I may want to put an auto turret on the roof and pointing straight up just to control any uh, birds and that'd be kind of cool, just watching it, uh, or just doing my horde night and then just watching birds just rain down. That'd be kind of neat. So, and I'm thinking, when I say on the roof, I mean like way up here, and just have it pointing straight up, and that should control the bird population. The bird will take up a zombie slot on on the horde pool, and uh, we don't want that. We don't want them to take up a slot. I want all the zombies to come at me. So. Birds obviously can't get to me. Uh, what are we going to do today? Let's see. I'm thinking I'm going to do some work on that. So it may be kind of a... Um, it may be in our typical build fashion-like episode. So there may be a lot of uh, fast-forwarding and cutting. Um, but I want to make some progress on that. And uh, I'm pretty much just going to be placing plates, and then I'm going to be going around upgrading everything. Uh, let's see. And get the concrete ready to flow, because we're going to be needing that. Tons of concrete, tons of cobblestone, which is good. Um, okay, I think I got everything I need. Um, basically, just gonna be keep placing these plates all the way around uh, until I get this uh, enclosed with all but one little slot, so I can still get in here and uh, upgrade these pillars. So that's what I'm gonna be working on right now. Oh, also, real quick, uh, in continuation with our uh, highlighting certain um, YouTubers and uh, specifically younger YouTubers with younger channels like myself uh, trying to help out the, the remain other bits of the community uh, I want to highlight uh, another young YouTuber who's just starting out uh, Blade Walker 
he is doing things a little bit different on his channel um, than the standard. Uh, one, he still uses a controller, but we won't hold that against him. <laughs> um, and then uh, he's got a bunch of, uh, what are they called, modlets? He's got a bunch of modlets for quality of life, and that's okay. And that's how he wants to play a game. That's perfectly fine. But the content he does put out, it's good content, good content. Um, but he could definitely use some love in the viewer. Uh, ship. So swing over to his channel if you get a chance. If you like what I see, you may like what he does as well. And uh, sorry, if you like what I do, you may you may like what he does as well. So I'd swing over there, give him a check, and uh, if you like what you see over at his channel, give him a like and subscribe. He, I'm sure he would appreciate that. So that was uh, Blade Walker. That's one word. As of this recording, he had just put up uh, episode 15 of his survival series and uh, the horde base he's doing is actually pretty interesting I don't think I've seen that design yet so that by itself may be worth checking out so I'm just going to continue to place in these plates I got my hole to get underneath to upgrade Alright, I um I got that side done. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this ramp. Uh before I fill in this side. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter now, does it? When I think about it. Uh I'd still like to have the ramp in just in case. Let's see here. Guess we can go right here. I guess there's really no reason not to. And then right there. Let's dig this out right here. Same deal right here. And then we'll just build a two wide ramp going into it. Now, until I get electricity up, like electric fences to slow them down, dart traps to um, assault them uh, as they're making their way over to me, this base is not going to be viable until then. So I'm really trying to, I'm really starting to put all my points into intellect. So I gotta get that up just so I can start making some of those because I'm not finding the schematics. I believe I'm still missing quite a few of them. So say for example like dart traps. Yeah, see I can't make dart traps. Electric fences. Cannot make electric fences. How about even trip wires? Can I even make those? No. Can't even make those. So I'm really relying on finding recipes. Uh, from the trader, buying the stuff from the trader, and, um, and, and until then, getting my points up. Uh, sorry. And until then, getting my points up so that, um, I can just make them myself without actually having to find the recipe. work that works okay so we'll go back at placing these real quick Alright, this bottom layer of plates are all put in. 
I gotta tell you, the one of the worst part about I, I decided to use plates just because honestly, I, I haven't worked with them a lot. I know once they're upgraded, they're just as strong as every other block. Um, so I was just trying something new, but these plates are a pain in the ass to put in. So, but for the most part, this bottom layer, which arguably could be considered the easier layer, <coughs> the bottom layer is done. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade all these pillars, everything I can upgrade underneath here. I don't have any concrete on me. I'm pretty sure I got everything out of here upgraded. I uh, wonder if I should go ahead and upgrade the floor while I'm at it. Just because there's going to be certain pieces up there I'm not going to be able to get to. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Alright, I believe that's the entire floor upgraded. That took a little bit longer than I expected it to. I did not... I don't know what I was thinking, but I didn't think it would take that long. So, that's done. I can now seal this off. And then we'll upgrade all the way around. Alright, that's the bottom layer. Um, all upgraded. So those now have uh, 1500 hit points all the way around. So. Alright. Looks good. I got a ton more upgrading to do. I'm definitely going to have to get the cobblestone flowing again. So, we'll get her. Let's see. Um. We still gotta do. Like, now we gotta go all the way around. Oh, yeah, this is coming together nicely. Got this all built up all the way down, uh, except for the end there. Gotta do that still. And then gotta put on this side. Got a 
couple of these while I'm here. Okay. Got to put on all of this side all the way up as well as the front right here. And then this one, the structure. I know, like, building the structure, that's the sexy part. It's upgrading it uh, and making it not made out of paper mache. That that can be the boring part, I know. But um, it, it's all stuff that has to get done. Uh, plus, we're getting a buttload of experience doing this, and we'll get a buttload more when we start going to concrete. So, like I said, it has to be done. I'm sure everybody who builds in this game knows exactly how that is. It's putting the structure up that's sexy, not not the upgrading part. That's tedious and boring. So that being said, what do you say we break up this episode and we go kick something's ass? That's kind of what I want to go do. All right. Um, I went and stopped at the trader on the way, and we picked up the closest tier three quests that uh, there was. We are back at the army post. So that is exciting. Actually, I'm excited to do this one again. I saw this one pop up at 400 yards, not knowing what it was. I clicked on it. It said Army Barracks. I went, hell yeah. So that's what we're doing today. But we're going to try and do it pretty quickly. So wake the fuck up, zombies. Come on. Where you at? I see you. Oh yeah, he's up. Oh. Hell, you okay, this glitch, that's getting old. All right. This one definitely might be a little bit more challenging with the higher game stage. There's our supplies. So we can leave anytime we're ready. This was simply just a fetch. I don't think I'm going to be afraid to use uh, ammo in here, though. These, uh, it's not the hazmat guys, it's the army guys. They actually do have armor. Actually, AP would have probably been good in here. But it wouldn't have been good for them. I don't know. Having to switch back and forth between two different ammos and you forget which ammo you're on, you, uh, you lose track. That gets annoying. I know I said the last episode should have been um, nice. I already have it, but still nice. I know I said the last episode should have been the end of tier five, uh, tier three quests, but I think it's actually this episode. Th or, uh, sorry, th this set of quests. This should be it. I'm hoping. Okay, there is one in there. Stupid cock. There. Okay. Let's go ahead and see who's up here. Nobody? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going to try and move through here pretty quickly. Anybody back here? Nope, none on this side. Wake up! Time to wake up, time to get your morning exercise. What's that called, PT? Come on, get your PT, there we go. Okay, good news. I'm going to close that so they don't sneak up behind me. Got 
got a bunch of beds I could be taking apart. So onto the bed, or the door there. Okay. No room in queue. Big thing I got scrap and brass. Oh, do I really want to take the bed apart? Not really. Not in particular. Just for time reasons. Uh, got the ch chassis again. Need the accessories. Good there. Damn, brass takes forever. Wake up. Look at you. Held up by a shower curtain. Shower. Okay, seriously, that glitch. That really needs fixed. Take that, scrap that. No pee water. Oh, no. Oh, oh. -ho. No, I almost scrapped those. <laughs> okay, before we make our push into the final building, we'll be uh, hitting the drop chest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a mobile drop chest. We'll be hitting that. Knock, knock. Bitch. Stay down. Whoa. I thought you were dead. You dead now. Okay. Paper. Definitely need the paper. It's not as it's not as sexy as it get, but you do need it, so. that. Scrap those. Yeah. There you go. Bullets. More acid. Uh, I don't think I want five nitrate. Especially when I have a fresh nitrate vein underneath my base. Don't think I need it. Let's see. Can I reach that? No. Uh, Forty four. Scrap that. There we go. More seven six two. I'm just saying, I'm in an army barracks. And if I can't find seven six two underneath the sink in the army barracks, then I'll be disappointed. Okay, I think I got everything in here. Definitely be back in a uh, trip out to the Jeep.
Oh! Damn it. Did not want to do that. Um, actually, I could go ahead and eat that. Or I'll take the vitamin and then eat the sandwich. I'll keep my hunger up nice and good. A red tea will least stack. Okay. Finally. Uh, don't need the seven stone. I can go ahead and eat that as well. Scrap that. All right. Another sandwich. And three more sandwiches. Good. I got plenty of sandwiches. I was so concerned. Uh, I don't want one gunpowder. Okay. Moving on. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull the Jeep in here. I said we can come and go now, so please. Since we found the supplies and quests, it's kind of complete. Come on. You can get through that. Yeah. Did some unnecessary damage, but one repair kill will take that back to full health. I ain't worried. Actually, might as well go ahead and drop off. I'll have a bunch of stuff to sell to the trader tomorrow. Uh, trader will reset tomorrow. Okay. Let's finish this place out. Oh yeah, he fast. Stay down. You're next. Anybody else in here? It's actually a pretty good one if I didn't already have them. I mean, if that was a first time. Oh my god, check this out. That would have been a good one. Nice, level 3 baseball bat. I might give the baseball bat a try, just out of just screwing around. Just, the thing is ridiculously powered, probably way more than it should. Uh, should it have any right to be powered. Got an engine out of that. So what do we get from this? Yeah, all right, mechanical part. Not not really worth it. Nothing behind there. And 
another gas recipe. Oops. Come on, there we go. Oh, wrong one. There we go. <laughs> And there. All right, we're gonna do one more drop before we head down there because we know we got a bunch of safes. All right, let's make our final push into the building here. Is that it? You the only one in here? Apparently. Normally that's not the case. Normally there's two or three in here. We'll scrap everything here in a minute. I'm just gonna pick everything up. Let's see. Tons of glass jars, man. I, <laughs> I'll tell you what, you should never really have to make glass jars. Hell, you almost only have to make, um... Oh, nothing in there. You almost only have to make water anymore. You get so much water. You know, you, whether you drink the water straight or you make, uh, some kind of tea out of it. I know that thing won't collapse, but, you know, just in case. Yep, got some baddies in here. Alright. Just the two, though. Again, I... I feel like there used to be a lot more in here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I will take that because I'll sell that. Here's clear. I think there's an ammo pile hidden up here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about you. There we go. And down you go. Yeah, I think there's an ammo pile out here. Don't quite remember. I ain't gotta worry about the trash. I'm not making the effort for the trash. Yep. There it is. Double storage. The only reason I even check birds' nests anymore, and I don't go out of my way for them anymore. The only reason I even check them is for the eggs. It's because bacon and eggs is still a viable source of food. Alright. Time to make the push to the basement. Oh, never checked that one. So let's scrap what we can. Um, actually, I'll keep that and sell it. And then we'll sell those as well. I can get scrapped. Uh, I can read that. Awesome sauce. Alright. Final push. I have a bunch of safes to break open. Let's 
see. Yeah, let's go ahead and drink some super water. That'll take care of that hydration problem for a while. I don't need a polymer. I'm back. That was my fiance that called. Had to take that one. So we got zombie closet here. It's so weird they don't actually wake up. Well, let's take out the easy one first. And down. This place is clear. And we got some zombie loot. Nice. All right. Let's uh, well, let's check this stuff out first, and then we'll crack open all these saves. Bandolier, which I'm pretty sure I already have. I do not actually, and I do have a spot for it. Nice. Okay. All right, seven six two replenished most of the ammo I used so far. All right, I will crack into all these safes. I have seventeen lock picks on me. We'll start with the big ones first. All right, we got into all of them. I have one lock pick left. I started with seventeen. Uh, I got I broke two lock picks on this one one on this one and like 14 on this one I don't know if that math comes out right I broke a lot of lot picks on this one first try and then got on the second one so this one better have something good in it so we'll start with the little ones eight rounds oh, okay it was holding an M60 though it is level one so not spectacular but at least I had something. This is crap. That's just crap. Single Molotov. Also crap. Wow. Three more Molotovs. Impact. Alright, last one. Sell those. Hunter mod. Level 2 machete. That'll sell for pretty good. Scrap, tempered blade, some cash, and crossbow. Alright, well, that's done. Didn't get a damn thing I wanted. Well, I only want one thing, but didn't get it. Not happy. Let's get out of here. We'll call it a night. Um. Oh, sad. We will not make it back to the trader before they close. So I guess we'll have to figure out what we get on the next episode. Well, that being said, I'm just going to head straight back to base. Probably do some night mining. And I'm going to call this episode right here, guys. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more, do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video around. Leave a comment down in the comment section if you like. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell icon. So you get notified every time a new episode comes online. My name is Rob. Thank you very much for watching. And always remember, take care of yourself.